Matthew chapter 6, 25 to 33. Why worry? Why worry? Why worry? From 25, I read. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thoughts for your life. What you shall eat, or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on, is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they are, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much more better than they? Which of you, by taking thoughts, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thoughts for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, Wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after these things, do the Gentiles seek? For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Why worry? You see, worry has become an international problem. In the last few years of economic depression, of global economic depression, worry has become an international problem and has been so escalated by the way people respond to it. Why worry? Jesus took this lesson trying to encourage the people not to worry. But that didn't stop worry. Worry is growing everywhere, enlarging everywhere, expanding everywhere. There are issues of people having challenges of life because we worry. We worry about everything. We worry. What do we worry? We worry about what will we eat? What will we drink? The bills. The bills that are crew on our tables. School fees need to be paid. House rent need to be paid. The bills. Bills just pile up. We begin to worry. How will I get this rent paid? How will I do this? How will I do that? We worry about old age. We are not getting younger. Sometimes we wonder. It's as if our sources of income are dwindling and we begin to wonder how will we survive this? How will we be able to meet up with the expectation, societal expectation? People expect us to do like this. People expect us to be at this level. People expect us to function. People expect us to work. How do we meet up? How do we meet up with the challenges of the world? So many issues to worry about. But the Bible says we should not worry. We should not worry. Tell your neighbor, don't worry. God is in control. Tell somebody, don't worry. Now, Jesus, in his exegesis here, he was just trying to play. How? What can you help yourself to do if you should worry? 
What is it that you can assist yourself? He said, can you show me a man who has increased in height just because he worried? What is that value you can add to your life should you worry? We worry about everything. We worry about government. We worry about government policies. Nigeria Labour Congress just declared strike for next week Wednesday because the new government has called for increase in the price of petrol. We worry. How will life be? How do you transport yourself from here to Agege? It used to be 200. Yesterday somebody said they were paying 500. There are issues to worry about. But the Bible says you should not worry. Because by worry you cannot help the situation. Worry cannot remove the problem. Worry cannot remove the problem. Worry cannot minimize the problem. Worry is your own problem and your worrying has nothing to do with the problem in situation. So the Bible says don't worry. Just don't worry. But it seems it's a very difficult advice for us to take. So many challenges, pressures here and there. Yeah. Society, we need to eat. You go to bed tonight and there's no food left for tomorrow. You lie down on your bed and you lose your sleep because you are worrying. What will I eat tomorrow? What will I eat tomorrow? Now, today you are about to sleep and you have lost your sleep because you are worrying about what to eat tomorrow. We worry and worry and worry. We even worry about worry. We worry about gossip. What are people talking about me? What do they think I'm doing wrong? Why is everybody looking at me somehow? We worry about aging. It's like I'm growing older. It's like, man, my face is changing. We worry about death. I young but he just died yesterday. Ah, and I see him. Does it mean I'm growing older and about to die? We worry about safety. Am I safe? It's like people are trying to listen to what we are discussing inside of our house. Oh, I must have made some mistakes in my life. There are certain things I've done wrong. Exam failure. Oh, I could not meet up my cut off mark for jam. We have so many things to worry about. Past events. My behavior at that program was not good enough. I didn't do my best. Oh, I missed what I was supposed to do. We worry about money. Will there be money? Will there be money to spend? We worry about so many things. So, but let's just think about these things. There are challenges everywhere. Which of the challenges were we able to remove just because we worried? It's a big question. Which of the challenges were you able to remove by worrying? Sir, worry is sin against God. Matthew 6, 25. Worry just shows you have no faith. Worry shows that you don't believe in God. You don't believe that God can solve the problem. That's why we are worried. Jesus said, oh men of little faith. He just shows that you don't have faith. And the Bible says, Hebrews eleven six, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that God is God. So if we worry, it shows that we don't have faith in God. It shows that we don't trust that God can solve our problem. Worry is sin against God. Worry is up its men of physically, mentally, psychologically, and spiritually. Worry is of men. Worry destroys men. What is the stress man spiritually to the extent that you cannot pray? You can't concentrate to pray because you are worrying. You cannot concentrate to pray because you are worrying. You are not composed to pray. You can't concentrate for 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Just try to worry. You know that any man that worries cannot pray. There's a total disaster. Between the physical man, the mental man, the psychological man, and the spiritual man. Worry eats up. Eats up your spirit man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
So, worry makes you unproductive. You can't do anything. Why worry? You cannot do anything. Everything leaves you. Even your ordinary brain leaves you. You can't coordinate yourself to do anything meaningful. Worry eats us up. Worry magnifies the problem. It magnifies the problem and makes you feel so small that the problem is about to destroy you. Hear me now, people of God. Worry is useless. It adds nothing to you but subtracts from you. I was reading this afternoon I was reading the best West Minister's outline. It's a medical is a medical outline. Why was I reading it? I was reading because I wanted to know the medical implications of worry. They listed over 90 diseases that originate from worry. I wrote about 15 of them down here. And as I was going to share with you, worry destroys your physical being. It destroys your physical being. What does it give to you in return? It gives to you ulcer in return. Difficulty in swallowing. Dry mouth. Nausea. That's you feel like vomiting. Just because you are worried, you feel like vomiting. Trembling or twitching. Heart attack, heart diseases, dizziness, fast heartbeat. Your heartbeat increases because you are worrying. Rapid breathing, digestive disorders. You eat and the food refuses to digest because you worry. Insomnia. Insomnia means loss of sleep. You lie down on your bed and you can no longer sleep. Sometimes you lie down for hours. You can no longer sleep. You counseling and counseling and counseling. You can no longer sleep. Dizziness. Restlessness. Fatigue. You didn't work in the factory but you are tired as if you have just finished Olympics. Headache. Chest pain. Memory loss. Cardiac diseases. Diseases that have to do with the heart. So worry is not just an act of faithlessness, but it's an act of inflicting oneself with diseases. Diseases that some of them, medical science cannot cure. The summary of it is that if you are a man or woman gifted to worry, you cut short your lifespan on earth. So why worry? If worry has all these kind of wicked things associated with it, why must we worry? Why must we worry? Everything we have, it was God that gave it to us. Hallelujah. If you are six feet tall, you didn't go to God to negotiate. I say, God, make me six feet tall. I want to be very tall. You did not. God just gave you the height. That he thinks was right for you. The money you are having in their bank account today, there was nothing you negotiated with God. This is how much I want to put in my account. God gave it to you. Everything we have, the way you look like, the way your shape of your face is, God gave it to you. It was given to you free of charge. You didn't worry for it. You did not agitate for it. You didn't need to go on strike for God to put food on your table. You just needed to do what is right. And have the right relationship with men. God is a good God. Hallelujah. I say God is a good God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your God is a good God. Amen. So let's do away with this worry so that we can work with God. God, Jesus was doing an example of the lilies, the small flowers outside. They did not sow, neither did they reap. But God beautifies them. That anyone that sees them know that, ah, this flower is beautiful. They are not going to last long. The flower, you know, sprout in the morning. And in the evening, 
he dries up and dies. That even though the lifespan is one day, God makes sure that the lilies are well beautified. He said, Solomon, as rich as he was, as wealthy as he was, he had everything gold or silver and raiment. He was never well arrayed as one of these lilies that's coming free of charge. So, why kill yourself about what you are going to dress, what you are going to wear, or what you are going to put on, or how you are going to stand, or how you are going to sit? The flower did nothing and is the most beautiful thing on earth. Why worry? Worry is not only useless, worry takes away from us. It takes our peace. It takes our joy. It takes our satisfaction. And above all, it takes our sleep. Why worry? If petrol is 500 naira per liter or a million naira per liter, your God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Worry cannot extend your life. He said, which of you by worrying? That's verse 27. I've added a cubit. A cubit is even too much. A cubit is one, uh, one foot six inches. I've not seen anybody by worrying. I've added one inch to his height. Which of you by worrying? I've added something. Or you are worrying now about what you eat tomorrow. And suddenly food spring, sprang up under your bed. It does not happen that way. It does not happen that way. That's why Jesus said, do not take thoughts about what you shall eat or what you shall drink tomorrow. Or about raiment, what you shall put on. Don't take thoughts about those things. All you need to do is to increase your trust in God. Put your faith in God. God is ready to take us all the way. God, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Cast all your cares upon Jesus, for he cares upon you. He is our peace, who has broken down every wall of partition. Ephesians 2.14 Cast your cares upon Jesus, for he cares for you. First Peter 5, 7-10 He cares for you. He cares for you. Hallelujah. He cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God cares for you. It doesn't matter what is happening in the world. God has already made provisions for your survival. It doesn't matter what anybody has said. God has made arrangements for your progression. Oh, the path of the just is like a shining light and gets brighter and brighter and brighter. So, you can only get better. Touch your chest and say, I'm getting better. You can only get better. That's what shows that you are a child of God. The part of the jaws is like a shining light. It was shining, but now the intensity of the light has increased. The wavelength of the light has increased. It shines brighter, brighter, and brighter, and brighter. Somebody shout hallelujah. You are getting better. You are getting better. Tough times. Robert Shula wrote the book. Tough times never last. But tough people do. Hallelujah. The economy may be tough. Things may be rough. People may be dying. But you will be getting better. You will be, the tougher the things, the times, the richer you become. Hey. I said the tougher the times, the richer you become. Hallelujah. The tougher the economy, the higher and the more pressurized the austerity, the more intense your prosperity. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus gave us the summary in that place. He said, this is what the people of the world are doing. The people of the world are worried about what they are seeing and what they are hearing. You see, if you do like that, it shows that you don't have faith in God. But for you, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things, money, all these things, houses, 
All these things, school, book, education, prosperity, progress in life, shall be added unto you. When we miss the focus of seeking first the kingdom of God, we fall into the same tree with unbelievers, suffering and smiling, hardship, poverty, shame, stagnation, degradation, and we don't know what to do. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, God is here with us. Hallelujah. God is here with us. I don't tamper with the sound system. The whole thing has changed overnight. God is here with us. God is here with us. God is here with us. And you are a success in the name of Jesus Christ. So, how do we overcome worry? I will just show you five things you must do to overcome worry. What can I do to overcome worry? This is a problem. It doesn't only affect you physically. It affects you spiritually. It affects you emotionally. It affects your health. It affects everything that affects you. If you are somebody, you are having a problem, you begin to worry. It affects your work. It affects your sleep. It takes your sleep away from you. If it affects your state of mind. It, it, it takes away your happiness. You lose your sleep. You no longer can sleep. That is the beginning of hypertension. The moment you lose your sleep, hypertension has started. And when hypertension becomes really hyper, it seizes your blood vessels. Your blood vessels become blood. Blood can no longer flow. And that increases the tension, the pressure of the blood. Before you know what is happening. Stroke. Stroke is just cardiac arrest. Where the heart say, this, the rate I'm pumping is too much for me. I want to rest. I don't tire. The moment the heart sleeps, they say the man has quenched. That's not your portion in Jesus' name. Go to the hospitals now all over the world. In the last seven years, hypertension has increased all over the world, irrespective of color or race, among the white, the black, the yellow, the Hispanic, and all kinds of human beings. Hypertension is what the devil has used to taunt the human race because of physical, mental, financial challenges all over the world. But that's not your portion in Jesus' name. You are a child of God and God is with you. Doesn't matter the wind that blows. It doesn't matter how far the journey will be. You will get there in Jesus' name. Doesn't matter how rough the terrain is. You will be a success in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how many people are dying. You will not die. You will live to fulfill your purpose here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter how many people have given up. You cannot give up until you deliver the purpose for which you were sent to this earth in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a success and this cannot be negotiated. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I came from above. I am above all. I came from above. I am above worrying. I am above worrying. I am above worrying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can I overcome worry? Five points. Point number one. Meditation. What about meditation? You know, the Bible talks about the blessed man and says this one thing he does. His delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law does he meditate Day and night. Psalm 1 verse 2. For everything you are worrying about, look for what the Bible is talking about it. Look for what one or two or three or four scriptures and be able to find antidote from God's word so that you'll be able to meditate and think about the word of God in replacement for your thought of worry. Hallelujah. For instance, you are afraid you want to die tomorrow. You are afraid you will die tomorrow. What does the Bible say about you? The Bible says you shall not die. You will live. 
Hallelujah. Psalm 118 verse 17. You look at it and you meditate. Roll it over your mind. Roll it over your mind. Try to replace the thought of this scripture with the thought that you were going to die. Because somebody has died in your family. And they say you are the next person in line to die. The word of God says you shall not die. You will live to declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, your salary is 20,000 naira a month. And now, just for you, people that are earning 30,000 a month, they are thinking of how they are going to pay transport to reach the place of their work and to pay transport to come back. Should government remove fuel subsidy? And somebody say, ah, oh boy, how are you going to do it? Your God will do it in Jesus' name. I say, your God will do it in the name of Jesus. Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men. The things that God has in stock for them that love Him. Do you love God? If only you love God, God has a plan for your progress. Hallelujah. For my God, Ephesians 3.20 is able to do exceeding abundantly and above all that I could imagine. God is able. Just look for the scripture that counter the fear of the things you are thinking about that's making you to worry. God has not given you the spirit of fear but has given unto you the spirit of power. The spirit of love and of sound mind. Hallelujah. What is that thing? How will you pay your house rent? Your rent is expiring next month and you don't have any bank reserve. How are you going to pay it? You must look for the scripture. That's why I say meditation. You must look for the scripture that gives you a conviction that you will pay that rent next month. And meditate on it. Take it to your heart. Try to use it to replace the negative thoughts that you want to run away from Lagos because of landlord. Try to look for something to replace it. This is the key. This is what gave Joshua the conquest. This is what, what, what made that man to be called the blessed man. The Bible says, whatsoever he doeth prospers because he goes first to meditation. He goes first to look for the word. He goes first to replace negative thoughts with the positive word of God. Words of hope. Words of joy. Words of prosperity. Words of relationship. He looks first into God's word. To look for the word. To replace those things that make him to, to feel unhappy. He changes them and replaces those words. And meditates on those things. And now he has success. Meditation. Number two. How can I... Deal with worry. How can I deal with worry? Prayer. Somebody say prayer. Philippians 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing. Worry about nothing. Worry about how many things? Nothing. Be careful for nothing. But in everything do what? By prayer. Supplication, thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. Prayer, 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 prayer. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for you are the one that gave me these children. I'm thanking you. Now I have ten children. Thank you for my children. Thank you that they are now in school. One is in primary one, one is in primary two, one is in primary three, one is in primary four, one is in primary five, one is in primary six, one is in primary six, seven, and then the other one is in primary eight. This one is in primary ten. Lord! You take one to the river, you will be able to help him to cross. You will help the student for their school fit to be produced. None of them shall be sent back home because of finances. You are praying. You are praying. Hallelujah. And God is still in the business of answering prayers. May your God answer your prayers in Jesus' name. He said, by everything, in everything, first, prayer, supplication. You know what is supplication? Uh-huh. If you go to apostolic faith in my village, 
you will know what supplication is. You pray and cry. Pray and cry. Lord, what will it look like? If they should drive my children from school. Lord, I know you are too faithful to fail. We are doing a series on our YouTube on prayer for this month. You will know a lot more. A lot more about prayer. If you can honestly be following on a daily basis, one prayer will be discussed. One type of prayer will be discussed. It will make you wiser and place you in a better state to pray and get answers to your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Make your request known. God cannot give you a child and not give you money to maintain that child. If you say anything like that, then there's something you missed. God can never give you a job and not give you the transport money to be going to your job. It can never happen. Everything God does shall be complete and shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. God cannot give you a wife and not give you the wisdom to marry your wife. God can never give you a house and not give you the managerial acumen to organize your tenants. It's not possible. So, what we are saying is prayer. There is nothing. The Bible says, cast your burden upon him. For he cared for you. That's prayer. That's prayer. That's prayer. There is nothing you will take to God in prayer that God will not answer and give you and give you something that will suit your pain. Prayer. Prayer. We need to pray. We need to pray. For men ought always to pray and not to faint. In that Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. He said, and the peace of God. That's the end of worry. That passeth all understanding. Who fill your hearts and your mind. Another translation. The peace of God that transcends all understanding. That's why you need to pray. The moment you can seriously pray, God takes over your worry. God takes over your worry. The peace of God dissipates and dissolves any iota of worry in your system. That's the way God works. Worry is gone forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, your thoughts. Say, take no thoughts of tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thoughts of itself. Hallelujah. Stop worrying about what will happen tomorrow. What will happen next tomorrow? If they should do this today, what may happen tomorrow? Stop worrying about what has not yet happened. Stop worrying yourself and give yourself stress about probabilities. You know, analysis brings paralysis. Stop this thing. See what you are seeing today and work with those things. And trust God that He will take care of your tomorrow. I see God taking care of your tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Tomorrow shall take care of itself. God will settle you and your tomorrow shall be glorious in the name of Jesus Christ. God will settle you that you did you do not need to bother about your tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. As a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. Proverbs 23 verse 7. So stop thinking confusion tomorrow. Hey, Nigeria will scatter tomorrow. It will not scatter in Jesus' name. Stop thinking of how life will be too hard if they remove petroleum subsidy. There are many countries that have removed petroleum subsidy. People are still living there and they are still happy. Stop thinking of, I mean, pain. Worry, frustration, or disgrace, embarrassment. Stop dreaming of how they drove your children away from school. Because it will not happen. God is on your side. In the name of Jesus Christ. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. God is thinking. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. God is a thinker. That's why I give you a prayer. God says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you a future full of hope. Another translation to give you an expected end. 
God is always thinking positively about you. Why are you thinking negatively about yourself? Align your thoughts with the thought of God. Align your thoughts. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 tells us how we need to think. The thing that we need to think, sir. Philippians 4 8. Anything whatsoever is glorious. Driving your children away because of school fees, is it glorious? No. Stop thinking about those things. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Think on those things that are glorious. Hallelujah. Very soon you'll be a landlord in Lagos. Is that a glorious thought? Think about it. Amen. Amen. Very soon one of your children will win an international scholarship that will take the child to study freely up to PhD level. Is that a wonderful thought? I hope I'm talking to some people in church. Think on those things. Think of those things that will bring glory to God in your life. Think on those things that will make the name of the Lord to be magnified. Think of those things. The children winning their world, are they not having one one head just like your own children? Whatsoever is noble, whatsoever is glorious, whatsoever is of good report. Is it not of a good report that is has paid for all your sicknesses and diseases? And that you are, can no longer be sick. Hallelujah. Is it not a wonderful thought that Jesus Christ became poor so that you might become rich? Is it not written in your Bible? Is it not a glorious thought the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21 that Jesus became sin that you might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? Think of those things. Hallelujah. Think of those things. Wow. Jesus became sin. He took upon himself my sin. So that I might collect his righteousness. <laughs> think on those things. Those are the things you need to think of. And then you see your worry disappears overnight. Why worry? Why worry? And cost you your life. Why worry? And make yourself an object of caricature. Why worry and lose money? Why worry and lose businesses? Why worry and lose the connection God has prepared for you? Let's stop this worry. It's ungodly and does not give us the desired results. Hallelujah. Number four live a thankful life. Learn to be thankful. For every good thing that comes your way, thank God. The Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In how many things give thanks? Everything. Everything. Whatever situation you are passing through now, it could have been worse. It could have been worse, honestly. Okay, he knocked inside the gutter. He didn't knock into the express for another car coming to claim you. It could have been worse. So wake up from the gutter, go treat yourself of the bruises. The situation could have been worse. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Hallelujah. You know, people have lost the art of thanks, thanking God. People sleep and wake up, they think it's their right. Yeah, I just woke up. Man, mm, today, I didn't sleep very deep. Ah. What is there to eat? If you didn't wake up, will you be looking for food? You have not even thanked God. This is a problem. And then even check what the newspaper is saying. Okay, now, no, many people are no longer reading newspaper. Is your phone, internet. What has happened? Breaking news. Eh? Breaking news. NLC declared strike for Wednesday. Hey! Now for this country. Eh, breaking news. What? 
This is how we are living our lives. We have forgotten the act of thanksgiving. We have forgotten that that's the only will of God. Every other thing we do, it might be God's will, it might not be God's will. Sometimes 50 50, sometimes 10 percent, sometimes 30 percent. But thanksgiving is the will of God. Nobody can thank God amiss. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you truly want to deal with worry in your heart, thank God for the things you have today. Worry will disappear. Why are we worried? Because we are apprehensive. Because we don't know what we'll be tomorrow. You know, those people that don't know God say, what God will be, God will be. But not for you. God has settled everything concerning your life. Your life is full and your future is bright. He has made you. Before you were born, God has already made you a king and a priest. And I ask people everywhere I go. I say, tell me, have you ever seen a king that doesn't have money? Have you ever seen a poor king? Answer me, have you ever seen a poor king? Say, this is the king of Saudi Arabia. He has no money. He's looking for who can give him 5,000 so that he can pay again. Okay? Every king is a rich king. Hallelujah! I entered into the, to the, the uh, prosperity covenant before I was born. Long before I was born. He has made us, Revelation 5 verse 10, a king and a priest. Now we should do what? We should come to the earth and cry and die prematurely. No, that we should reign upon the earth. Scripture. What are we supposed to do in the earth? Reign. That's what the Bible says. How do you reign? Can anybody reign without money? It's not possible. Money is a tool God has given us that will reign on this earth. First Peter 2 9. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. That you should do what? You should show forth. La, 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 la. To show for the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. You cannot be coming out of darkness and be crying of darkness again. God has brought you out of that darkness. We have to show for the light. Somebody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Don't you are just saying, I'm a king. I am rich. Let the devil hear you. I say, I am a king. And I am rich. I cannot worry about anything. My God has said to me. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Let's take the next 15 minutes to pray. Please, close your Bible and just stand up. You cannot, you cannot cry. You cannot worry. You cannot be stranded. You cannot be jeopardized. You cannot be confused. God is on your side. 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 Just sing this song to three people, then we come back and pray. Why worry? When you can pray, trust in Jesus, and He will make a way. Don't be a doubting tumult. Hopefully, not the promise. Why worry, worry, worry? Talk to someone and say, Why worry? When you can pray, trust in Jesus, and make the Lord your stay. Don't be a doubting tumult. Hold him to his promises. Why worry, worry, worry? Brother, there's no need to worry. Don't worry. Why worry when you can pray? Why worry when you can pray? Yeah, worry. From today, worry has left you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Worry has left you never to return in the name of Jesus. You don't need to cry over anything. Your God shall settle you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's get to our places of prayer. Now you are going to cast all your cares upon him. He said, the Bible says, he kept for you. 
Whatever the care is, fear of today, fear of tomorrow, fear of what to eat, fear of what to drink, fear of where to go, ah, how to lie down, what to enjoy, lack and poverty, shame, whatever the problem is, just take it. When you cast it, you don't have it again. Take it and throw it at Jesus. Jesus is just before you. Just cast upon him the fear of tomorrow, the fear of poverty, the shame of stagnation, the shame of degradation, the shame ah, of borrowing, the shame of frustration, hunger, deprivation. Throw it at him. Throw it at him. Throw it at him. Cast your burden upon him for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon Jesus for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon Jesus for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon Jesus for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon him for he cares for you. Cast your burden upon him for he cares for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the master of the universe. I take my cry challenges. I take my burden. I cast them on you. I take my pain. I cast them on you. I take my frustration. I cast them on you. I cast my cares on you. For you care for me. I cast my care on you, Lord. I cast all my cares on you. I cast my cares on you, Jesus. I cast my frustration upon you. I cast my lack of money upon you. I cast my shame upon you. I cast my deprivation upon you. I cast uh, my frustrations upon you. Yes! The Bible says all things work together for good. To them that love God and to them who are the call according to his purpose. Tonight! I'll come to you, Lord, because you have a plan for me. I'll come to you, Lord, because you have opened the door for me. I'll come to you, Lord, because you are in God. A God leading me to higher highs. Uh, intense. Uh, high intensity. High intensity. Yes. Uh, well, yes, Lord. Oh, God, you are thinking of me. Yes, Lord, I've made up my mind to think of you. And to think of the plans that you have for me. And to think of the glory you have prepared for me. And to think of the trust that I have in you. I'm depending on you, Lord. I'm depending on you, Lord. Fatalaba. I cast all my cares upon you. I cast all my cares upon you. I lay all my burden down at your feet. And many times I don't know what to do. I just cast all my cares upon you. I cast all my cares upon you. I cast all my cares upon you. I lay all my burdens down at your feet. And many times I don't know what to do. I just cast all of my cares upon you. Whatever the issue is, cast it on Jesus tonight. Whatever the pain is, whatever the trouble is, whatever is shaking in your life, cast it upon Jesus. Cast it upon Him now. He cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. The Bible says it's at peace. He has broken down the walls of partition. Yes, in the Holy of Holies. He is at peace. 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 Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pray, cast your cares upon Jesus. For he cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. You can no longer be ashamed. God is on your side. You can no longer be ashamed. Frustration has left you. You can no longer be ashamed. Cast your cares upon Jesus. 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 For he cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. 
He cares for you. Papa le fala. Ramza le kata. Ramza la kato. Ramza le papa. He care kezia. Ramza le daria. Alakati dara la. Alakadi arandera. He re 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 dara. Ashara la la la. Brani la ni la la. Ramza la la ni ni ni. Ramshala. 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 Brani la kani kani kere kere dara. Brani kasi kere kere dara 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 ni 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 la. Losha la kani kezia. Ramza te kera. Ramshala. Le querida, la fe la caqueta, la fe te le queta, la fe lo corre que se haga, lo bra, le bra, le bra, le bra, le bra. You are praying for yourself, pray for yourself. Something must happen. Something must break. This shame must be removed. This pain must be removed. This stagnation must go. This uh, this frustration must die. Oh, this lack of success must disappear. In the name of Jesus. Yes, weeping may come in the night, but the day has come. Joy, there must be joy during the day. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. The Bible says, "For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. For whom He did for know, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His dear Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom He did predestinate." Them he, he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Lagza la kali kazi da la la kiti kiti, ramzo to to lo si ti 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 da, brani di brani da 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 di 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 da da da, lagza ta ta li za ta la si ti ti, ushanda la kaketa, la si ti ni katanta la, brani kazi ta la brani katata, ushanda kato, lagza ta la kabo, lagza ti ti katika. Lagzuto lozika lakala, rushi lele lela, lagzu lele lela, brale kabrada, lagzata lampa, bara kiyata, lagzuto lozia, arakada kiyati de 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 lada, lupa tikaka, lushata lampa, lozika dinda la, azekere kezekere kere kete tala. Yes, for whom he did for no, he also predestined to conform to the image of his own son. For whom he did predestinate, he justified, and for whom he justified, he also glorified. Mara, tayeta la bara kate kadi katata, langzata la talere re da la 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 ni la, abare kabra kana kaketa, langzata, 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 atala kaketa, abara kete kya go. Every fear, fear of the noon. Fear of the unknown, fear of yesterday, fear of what will be tomorrow. Go. Muri malika kusharia. Loza tata liza tala zuto tolo zita ta. Raz zuto tolo zita tala zita la la radida. Rab radi 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 la 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 radida. Raz zuto tolo zia la kara radi kizgirida. Raz girgirida di 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 kara girgirida di 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 di. He is my peace. He has broken down the very wall. He is my peace. He is my peace. He is my peace. He has broken down the very wall. He is my peace. Cast my burdens on you, for you care for me. You are my peace. You are my peace. I cast my burdens on you, for you care for me. You care for me. You are my peace. You are my peace.
Stand in lift of your hands as we bring this meeting to a close tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The thing you have been worrying about has just left you tonight. In the name of Jesus. The highest challenge of your life has just committed suicide. In the name of Jesus. Nothing past God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to release your anointing, your presence, your power, your glory upon every partaker in this service. In the name of Jesus, let fear, anxiety, worry, unbelief concerning any matter of life, concerning your people, let them die tonight in the name of Jesus. God, I 
has not given us the spirit of fear. God has given us the spirit of power. The spirit of love and of sound mind. Let every fear, every anxiety, every cause for worry concerning our life, in our life journey, concerning our future, concerning everything that concerns us, let that worry die tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we speak your peace. Let the grace of God that brings salvation to man, let that grace fill the hearts of your people tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, bring to the fore the manifestation of your grace concerning our life, concerning our future, concerning your plans for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, because we take back a peace that we have lost. The satisfaction which we lost many years ago, we take it back tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our finances which we lost, we take it back tonight. Every lost aspiration, every lost joy, every lost peace, we take them back in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Weeping may endure all through the night, but joy comes in the morning. Father, this is the morning, and joy has come. May your people have fullness of joy.